Now, we all know clout is a drug, all right? People will do anything in their power for an inch of clout, an inch of popularity. And while the YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram legend we're going to be going over today is one of those people. And uh, trust me, he's one of the most hardcore cases I've seen of clout chaser. Now, this guy goes by Jumani Struggles or Struggled. Uh, he, he has a lot of aliases. Jumani uh, Eats, Jumani Vlogs, Jumani Gaming it's a lot but we're gonna be reacting to videos of him destroying his workplaces which ultimately lead to him getting fired just to get attention from people on the internet it's bad like this dude it, he considers himself a clout chaser it's terrible but yeah let's get into it buckle up let's go hey rest in peace pot smoke <coughs> <coughs> Bro really just groaned into his mic. Like, what the hell? What was that? A war call or something like that? The hell, bro? This goofy is over here. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Are you like some zombie or something? Did, like monkey pox reach your brain and you started spazzing out, Jumani? I've had this dude on my radar for months. I've been waiting for the proper opportunity to talk about this guy. And I'm just so happy to take the opportunity now. All right? I mean, I, I saw my boy Rithril make a video on it, which kind of was like, yeah, I, I got him a video on this it reminded me of it honestly you know this guy's a sociopath when he's wearing his own merch his own merch it literally just says jumani struggles this guy cannot be real this this nigga is an npc for sure <laughs> You could just hear the commotion from this idiot and his just, I guess, genius plan in his mind to get clout by just knocking off glass bottles full of just products onto the floor for some innocent worker that probably already doesn't want to be there to clean it up. Crazy thing is, he works the same type of retail jobs, which he documents on his channel. I mean, currently, I think he works at Dollar Tree. This man's got fired from more jobs than I've talked to more females in my life. And, uh, well, I've, I've talked to a fair bit of them, uh, and this guy is just breaking my record so it's like it's it's mind-boggling to me how he can like go and destroy these stores and think that he's gonna get away with it when there's surveillance of not only the store but himself recording him doing these crimes like the cops have scooped this guy up multiple times and they gonna keep scooping you up i think he is is he a felon i don't know if he said he was but like due to his criminal record like a lot of places don't hire him i know it's kind of crazy i know the entire lore behind this guy like i said i I watched his videos for the past few months just looking at how idiotic he is this this guy's going through like a joker arc right now but yeah that's besides the point if you're doing this in 2022 your brain cells have just evaporated at mcmill tell, tell me you know the sign of the dream chaser real shit at mcmill let him know nigga i'm trying to get signed to dream chasers <laughs> fuck all this subway shit Fuck all of this subway shit, bro. At Meek Mill, man. Let him know. I'm trying to sign the team chasers. Sorry to pause so quick, but like, let's just hypothetically say Meek Millie, uh, for those of you who don't know, Meek Mill is a very, very, very popular rapper. But like, hypothetically, let's just say Meek Mill saw you destroying this subway. Is that gonna, like, influence him to think that you're a great employee for him to hire or somebody to have on a contract? No. If you can do this to a subway, imagine the things you can do to a multi-millionaire who is, uh, saving people's lives by simply having them sign a piece of paper that guarantees they get multiple 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 big checks on uh, a, a very frequent for the frequent basis you know the crazy thing is this guy i can't find the clip i really can but i just don't feel like finding it i've watched these videos before a few of these i i don't think i've ever seen the full version of this one though but in one of this guy's videos he stated how this subway gave him a chance when like multiple other you know restaurants and places wouldn't because it's criminal record and the fact that he did this to an innocent owner who spent a lot of hard-earned money on those you know ingredients or those goods to provide for the subway is really sad and disrespectful because that owner who took a chance on you being an idiot is actually gonna have to regret what you did now and is probably gonna be not willing to give people who actually deserve your opportunity that opportunity even if they are people with criminal records now because of what you did this dude jumani has just been an overall menace on tiktok and youtube
YouTube for too long, and it's about time people start talking about him again. I mean, Jamari, who's like one of my actual favorite YouTubers right now that I actually watch consistently, talked about this dude, and I feel like a lot of more people need to talk about this dude, Jumani, because he really needs help to think that clout chasing like this is gonna help him in any way. Bro, I'm done working at Subway. That ass. At Meek Mill, let him know. Dream chases. I'm not with none of this clout chasing shit, bro. All of this clout chasing shit is temporary, bro. I'm not with all this clout chasing stuff, but proceeds to clout chase and say it's temporary, although you've been doing it for as long as you've had your channels, buddy. I, I don't think I quite believe you. To be as grown as this man and to think that what you're doing is in any way, shape, or form smart, not because it could just get you in trouble, but because of the message you're overall putting out there for people who are going to see you and maybe think that, oh, this may be a good way to get attention. No, bro. Why would you even think this is smart in the first place? Because guess what? If Meek Mill saw that, guess what? Him and his team are sitting on his couch in his multi-million dollar house laughing at you. Because you're an idiot who thinks you're going to get a multi-$100,000 to million dollar contract off of destroying a subway. I didn't know that's how life worked, Jumani. Apparently it does, though. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me just go to the local McDonald's, hop behind the counter, take all the fries, every good that they have, and just, you know, dump it on the floor. And, uh, nah, let me actually take a few apple pies for myself and eat them. Just, you know, commit some theft, too. Maybe I'll finally get famous like Jumani did, dude. That ass. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to be doing none of this. Like, for real. Let him know, bro. Jamani way, Jamani struggle, whatever you listen. Adam, let him know that I'm trying to get signed to Dream Chaser, bro. For real. So instead of showcasing your music and telling people to add Meat Mill, nah, you want to destroy your subway. Bro, like, Jemani's music is not good, but it's not terrible. He could possibly stand a chance doing music, maybe. Maybe if he upped the production quality and stopped trying to be exactly a, like Meek Mill, because I've listened to his music a little bit, like, while recording this video, uh, I, I feel like maybe he'd have a chance, but, like... I, I still feel like I'm being too generous. But realistically here, like, this this bozo really thinks that he's about to, like, get this life-changing opportunity off of doing what he did. Like, I, I don't get what was going through his head. Like, how has we as a society not learned from Bunk, 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 uh, Bunk Gang? Uh, I don't know if you guys remember him. Back in, like, 2018, he'd go in, like, Dunkin' Donuts, take whole racks of donuts, go behind counters and eat stuff. Bro would go in stores on devious timing and just start stealing everything in his sight. Like, this is the type of behavior Jumani is on, like, in 2022, where he thinks it's actually going to get him somewhere, which kind of blows my mind, because if you genuinely think this is about to get you where you want to be, you're lost. I think I'm playing, like, how many, like... All over this shit, nigga. I'm done with all of this clout chasing shit. Bro, you already got the bread and meat and tomatoes and all the toppings and everything on the floor. Why are you adding insult to injury and pouring the sauce? My man's paid all this money. The owner of the subway paid all that money just for you to, like, throw it on the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if this dude put it right back in the containers, too. Jumani just... I, I, I can't think of this guy as someone who actually has any morals for anybody else. This goofy-ass dude literally said that he would not take pictures with people in public if they asked him. Because he was at the mall, apparently, and someone asked him to take a picture. And this dude proceeds to say, Jumani, me, I don't take pictures. I don't take pictures with people. This guy is... He's off. He's, he's off a perk. Well, that was really going to ask Jumani for a picture. If anything, they're going to probably be asking for the police... Uh, uh, to come to the, wherever you are to arrest you because nine times out of ten you're gonna be doing some stupid i don't know dude i just i, I want to feel bad for jumani but i can't at the same time i just know way too much about this dude that i've seen like over the lore of his channel over the past few months tag swag and Gween like showed me this guy randomly one day and ever since i've just been seeing what his channel is gonna do before i make a video on him and i was just waiting it's it's my time bro i had to make a video on this goof nut bro like i'm i'm, I'm done with this bro like dead ass i'm not trying to do none of this i would listen everything will hit the floor everything i'll throw everything on the floor man dead ass i don't i don't even care bro if this is what i gotta do if this is what i gotta do to get on that this is what i'm gonna do to get on bro guess what happened the next day you woke up getting fired 
yeah, like, you did all this, and you're gonna have to clean it up, too. I just now realized that this dude had to clean all of this up. Like, he had to sit there for the extra hours when he got off the shift to clean all of that up. You're wasting time. You can be in bed sleeping or actually trying to figure out a plan and make your life better, bro. Maybe if you stop wasting fresh air on being a clout chaser and actually use it to your advantage, you'd be more successful in life, Jamani. At Meek Mill, this is directly to Meek. Directly to Meek Mill. Let him know. I'm trying to get on. You feel me? I ain't trying. I ain't trying to be doing none of this clout chaser shit. But this is what I gotta do. This is what. This is what you gotta do. It's either this. Or be in the streets on some dumb shit, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I tried working a job, the job didn't work out. Bro, Jumani, the job was working out. You just don't want to work at the job, so you think the best thing to do is vandalize these stores, destroy items, get yourself in, in, in multiple, you know, actual criminal charges, like in criminal cases, because you want to be stubborn and not just work a normal nine to five until you get the opportunity to quit, bro. It's just how life is. It's the cards you get dealt that you just got to deal with. I'm fortunate enough where I don't have to work a summer job because I'm not an adult yet. So most of my friends have summer jobs or, you know, they are starting to get actual jobs. But too. because my passion is my job, you guys have blessed me with the opportunity to be able to make these videos and make money. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and bash a nine to five because if I'm, if, if I'm being real, I have so much respect for people who work nine to fives and just normal jobs that aren't spectacular like i mean dude for people who work at mcdonald's that's that's a struggle man that is a struggle and i'm not talking about just because the job but it's just the people there like the customers they gotta deal with i've heard bro. it from a lot of people firsthand who have worked in these fast food restaurants like bro it, it's like the, the amount of just rude people you get on a daily basis can drive you crazy so i have the utmost respect for people who work nine to fives and i and i I can never down talk anybody who actually does have a nine to five job whatsoever. So instead of trying to vandalize these places, Jumani, you should probably embrace the fact that you work at it at, at these nine to fives or at a subway and just wait for your time to come, bro. Because if you keep grinding, your time will come. It, it's just how it works, man. It's just how life really is. Listen, look, y'all think y'all think I'm playing, bro? I'm not playing, bro. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get on, bro. I'm gonna get on one way or another. You feel me? But I'm not trying to be a clout chaser at Meat Mill, bro. You see this video? If you're watching this video, at Meat Mill, tell him sign your money to Dream Chaser. Jumani, I'm gonna be real, my man. I don't think Meat Mill is gonna want to sign you at all if he saw this, so you should probably stop. Excuse me saying that like seriously this dude expect me Mill to wake up and just say you know what? Oh, I respect this Jumani guy destroying his entire life for me someone who doesn't know him at all. Yeah, great idea I'm trying to get signed to dream chasers. I am not trying to be a cult chaser. This shit is dead, bro It's dead, bro. All of this is dead to me, bro You feel me? I'm, I'm dead ass serious and I, Listen, I'm, I'm gonna go through the whole line too Look at cheese, huh? Chasing. For the people that know me, that know me for the, for my videos, I never wanted to do any of this, bro. This ain't what I want to do. I don't want to be working here. I don't want to be doing none of this. I'm just trying to get on, bro. I'm really trying. I don't, I don't know what else to do. So you feel me? If I if I got a call chase my way to the top, I'm a I'm a call chase my way to the top. And that right there is why Mr. Jumani is in the situation he is in now. Thinking clout chasing is going to get him out of the unfortunate 9 to 5 situation he lives in, my man. It's not going to help you at all by clout chasing. But on that note, I'm going to sign out. Love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.